Okay, so a couple of you have asked, how should I progress my workouts over the next week, months, and years, right? My answer to that is methodically, deliberately, and with purpose. So I want to show you how I would do it. Now know this, there might be a trillion different ways of exercise and workout progression. And if you find one that works best for you, fine, whatever, don't care. What I'm gonna do is show you how I do it. And it includes um, volume. It's a discussion that we haven't necessarily have had. And then it also includes periodization, which might be kind of new to you. So I'll show you how that kind of works and how I would do it. First thing to know is when we do a workout, right? We're, we've got three, exercises for one or three reps sets three sets for every exercise right so take our bench press for example and we're gonna assume today that you can press a hundred pounds you it doesn't mean you can we're just using these numbers and you'll do five repetitions which means if you did a hundred pounds for five repetitions set one you did 500 pounds of volume and that's the discussion that we're happy, having today when you're taking into account your progression there's a lot of things you should think of you should think about how much weight you're using you should think about how the intensity you're using the speed you're using but one of the most valuable um, discussions you should have in your head is about volume and all volume is is you just take those five repetitions right that you did for 100 pounds and then add them together the volume of that set was 500 pounds and over three sets your volume for that workout was 1500 pounds that is a big consideration so now what do i do next week well here's what i do i deliberately and meticulously try to add another rep and it's only a single rep and that's where people lose their damn minds they come in and they will see I have the tiger right I'm gonna push as very much as I possibly can because the only worthy workout is the hardest freaking workout that is stupidity and it doesn't even make sense in your own mind nobody drives their car as hard and fast as they can right they drive it as fast as is necessary to get there safely and effectively so my my whole thought there is I will add one single repetition which is cool because when you do the math my volume is 300 pounds higher than it was last week 300 pounds I added to the volume of my workout that's significant that's some real stuff the next week if all goes well I'm gonna try that same workout this time with seven repetitions and notice the difference I am now over a ton of volume in three simple sets guys gals that's cool okay now here's how I'll do it I'll go I'll work between five and eight remember I gave you that rep scheme of between five and eight well by the time I hit eight if I can do eight repetitions over all three of those sets um, then and only then will I raise five pounds now notice it took me a full month to raise my weight a simple five pounds but I want you to see what that does to the volume because this is kind of how it works notice that the volume after I go up to 105 right over five sets or five five repetitions over three sets my volume is 1575 significantly lower this time than the last week and that rise, that'll raise concerns for a lot of the professional trainers. I'm like, oh, your volume has to go up. But here's what you need to know. Your volume can't go up every single week for the rest of your life. Eventually, you're gonna top out. And eventually, and usually, that top out occurs at the behest of an injury. We can't, okay, we can't have that. So my suggestion to you then is to periodize periodize your training progression and here's how kind of that looks notice down here this was week one I did 1500 pounds right that was week one and my progression starts to go up and up and up until I've done 2400 pounds of volume that week then as a reset as a break because your body needs it and because I can't go up forever and ever right it would be ridiculous to think that I'm just gonna keep going up forever and ever I'm gonna give it a little break and I'm gonna go down to 1575. I'll be above where I was in my starting week, but I'll be below where that was. This gives my body a little bit of a break. It refracts and it becomes healed in a lot of very important ways, right? And then I'll start walking, working my way up a period of another month, 
where I add and add and add. But I want you to notice that my third week still isn't as high as my last week, but my fourth week is. And then I'll drop that and I'll head up. And over time, deliberately and meticulously, I will start increasing and improving my progression. But Neil, what happens if I can do eight of this weight? I stay at my six. I stay disciplined. Sometimes the art of discipline means not doing something as much as it means making yourself do a thing. So be super cognitive of those terminologies, right? If you're gonna come in, stay disciplined. I know that I'm gonna improve at six. And I'm in this for the long haul. And yes, I know I could probably do 12 of my seven, but I won't. I will do my seven. I will do it over and over and I will stay disciplined and I will eventually progress. And that is the art of periodized progression through volume, using volume as the key. And I thought I would show that to you as a suggestion for something you might do, but also if you've got something cooler or a better way of doing this that is, keeps you as injury free, but keeps you progressing, drop it in the comments below. I would love your thoughts on that.